The second largest city in Spain is Barcelona, and it contains plenty of must-sees for tourists. From beaches to parks to museums and a multitude of tourist destinations, Barcelona has something for everyone. Here is our top 10 list of things to do in the city. Number 1. Barcelona Cathedral Located in the Gothic quarter of Barcelona is the most important landmark, Cathedral of the Holy Cross and St. Eulalia, otherwise known as Barcelona Cathedral. This beautiful piece of architecture, with arched windows, lattice-like features, and pointed peaks, was built between the 13th and the 15th century, and received its neo-Gothic face in the late 19th century as part of the final touches. This includes various gargoyles and mythical creatures on the roof. The interior of the structure displays a majestic altar, gold fixtures, and 140 statues of numerous saints. Today, the cathedral operates as the seat of the city's archbishop. Number 2. Barceloneta Beach As a destination located on the shores of the Mediterranean Sea, it's no surprise that Barcelona offers several beautiful beaches for visitors to enjoy. One of the most popular is Barceloneta Beach, but it's not a quiet and relaxed area. It is highly visited and known to be noisy with its many water sports, beach volleyball, and many food and drink vendors that include seaside cafes. Also available on site are rental sun umbrellas and lounges, as well as change rooms and washrooms. Number three, Casa Bayo and Casa Mila. Antoni Gaudi y Cornet, known mostly just as Gaudi, was a highly individualized architect known as the greatest creator of Catalan modernism. His works are mainly seen in Barcelona, two of the most important and interesting of which are Casa Bayo and Casa Mila. Both are located approximately six minutes from Barcelona. Casa Bayo is an apartment block that became famous when Gaudi was commissioned to give the building a makeover towards the end of the 19th century. This is said to be among the best examples of his style, due to curvy lines, vibrant colors, and the overall look which was inspired by the sea. For visitors wishing to see inside, admission is 25 euros for adults and 22 euros for children. Casa Mila is another of Gaudi's masterpieces. The style of this citadel once again features a complete lack of straight lines and right angles. The building completed construction in 1912 and has been alternatively named as La Pereira. An elevator is available inside for visitors to ascend to the rooftop and enjoy the city skyline views. Admission to Casa Mila is 24 euros for adults and 18.50 for students and seniors. Number 4. Gothic Quarter The Gothic Quarter is the oldest district in Barcelona having begun as the founding city in 15 BC. Surprisingly, it is a rather small community with a maze of narrow streets. Packed full of Gothic architecture, it is one of the most visited and lively regions of the city and is a must-see for first-time visitors to Barcelona. Walking tours are available in the region, however, the area is small enough to find your way around on your own and it might be the best way to experience the various shops and cafes while taking photos of the charming streets and memorable structures. Number 5. La Rambla For a typical tourist experience, visit La Rambla. It is centrally located in the heart of the city, thus easy for visitors to find, along with other notable places of interest all within a short distance. With an abundance of restaurants and bars, various shops, and street-side busking performances, it is an area that residents tend to avoid, but draws numerous sightseers on the daily. Also found here amongst the historic buildings are sidewalk cafes, palm readers, psychics, portrait and caricature painters, and a variety of other entertainers that assist in thrilling visitors with the novelty of the area. In this respect, it is sort of like New Orleans Bourbon Street or the Las Vegas Strip. Number 6. Parque Güell As we mentioned, famed architect Antoni Gaudi was commissioned to design several compositions across Barcelona, and Parque Güell was one of them. 
However, this 42-acre property did not start out to be a park. It began in the 20th century as a housing community for the rich, until it was revealed that building on that parcel of land was not ideal. Gowdy then forged ahead with plans for a park instead, and created an enchanting area festooned with mosaics and meandering benches from which visitors could enjoy wide-sweeping views of the ocean and the city of Barcelona. Admission to the park is 10 euros for adults and 7 euros for children. Number 7. Magic Fountain of Montjuic Looking for an evening show that doesn't break the bank? Consider the Magic Fountain of Montjuic, which is free. This display blends water, light, and sound with a 3,600 water jet fountain and more than 4,700 lights, all choreographed to music. Originally designed in 1929, this colorful and lively spectacle is a popular attraction among tourists, with millions visiting the fountain every year. Showtimes adjust throughout the year, and the show is closed for the winter during January and February. Number 8. Montjuic Want a fantastic view with a little history combined? Head to Montjuic. This is a large, flat-topped hill that overlooks the harbour below and offers visitors a spectacular view along with the ruins of the castle of Montjuic. Given the tactical advantage of this site, it's no wonder it was chosen as a place for a fortress and lookout towers. Today, however, it is a popular tourist attraction with landscaped gardens and fantastic photo opportunities. Two options are provided for getting to the top of Montjuic. One is a cable car which can be taken from Barceloneta Beach, and located next to it is the funicular, which is a mountainside rail car. Both feature fantastic views of the harbour. Number 9. Musao Picasso Famed artist Pablo Picasso spent his young, formative years in Barcelona, so it stands to reason that the city's Musao Picasso is among the most significant Picasso galleries in the world. But don't expect to find his most legendary works here, because the museum mainly hosts his earlier pieces, including sculptures, engravings, pencil sketches and drawings, as well as paintings. In fact, the collection of earlier works contains a whopping 4,200 pieces of the artist's creations. If you are someone seriously interested in Picasso's work, expect to spend a few solid hours poring over the displays. Open every day except Monday, admission to the museum is 12 euros for adults and 7 euros for students and seniors. Number 10. Tibi Dabo Amusement Park This is the oldest amusement park in Spain, located high above Barcelona. Despite its opening in 1905, you might be surprised to know that some of the original rides are still in play. Overall, the park has an old-fashioned ambiance and charisma that appeals to visitors. The views from Tibidabo are spectacular due to the elevation of the park, and some rides lift visitors even higher if you want to attempt a photo from such heights. If you're looking to avoid big crowds, try to visit on a weekday when park goers are fewer in numbers. Tickets are priced at 28.50 euros for adults and 10.50 euros for children. Visit our website at goglobepopper.com for more top 10 lists and travel information. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you can become a Glow Popper.